Primetime Emmy scorecard. Yeah, we got it. Anticipated fallout from the NHL lockout on the Sports TV News and a very funny video about the lockout. Stand by for the TV News. This is the TVNews.TV, brought to you by CTAM Summit and CTAM Insights. One location, two conferences, one price to access both. For registration and information, visit CTAMConferences.com. Welcome to the TVNews.TV. I'm Jeff Grimshaw in Washington, D.C. It's Monday, September 24th, 2012. And we lead with the official scorecard for top awards from the 64th Primetime Emmy Awards. Hit it, Hal! October 11th was to have been the NHL season opening night. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Here's Eric Mackerlin to tell you about the anticipated fallout from the ongoing NHL lockout. As of now, we're in day seven of the NHL lockout. Overall, it's the fourth labor stoppage the league has experienced in just the last 20 years. Earlier this week, the NHL announced that all exhibition games in the month of September have been canceled. In the meantime, major stars like Alex Ovechkin, Genny Malkin, and Ilya Kovalchuk have packed up and left to play in Russia. And so day by day, we're creeping closer to the moment when the league will begin to be forced to postpone regular season games. So what does this mean for sports television? Well, first of all, you need to understand that the current league television contract in the U.S. mandates that NBC pay the league even if games are canceled due to labor strife. That's what the proviso, of course. The contract will be extended at no additional charge to NBC, equivalent to the number of games, or even seasons, that might be canceled. As for me, I think we're in for a long wait. Sides are simply too far apart on dollar figures, and the players didn't hire Donald Fear, the former head of the Major League Baseball Players Association. They weren't preparing for a fight. Now, the most critical date on the calendar in this negotiation has to be January 1, 2013. It's on that day that the NHL Winter Classic is scheduled to be played in Michigan Stadium between the Detroit Red Wings and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, in terms of exposure, the game is probably as important as the Stanley Cup Finals. Giving it up would also mean forfeiting the gate from a game that's expected to draw over 100,000 fans. According to contracts the league has signed with the folks in Michigan, they have the option to cancel the event up to just 24 hours before the start of the game. So they're clearly giving themselves as much wiggle room as possible for a last-minute settlement. Considering that the teams in the league are going to need to have at least some time for a training camp, the best hope for an end to the stoppage by the new year will probably come in mid-December. But if the parties don't reach an agreement by then, we could be settling in for a long wait. Well, we thank you very much, Eric. And here's an excerpt from some funny fallout from the NHL lockout in a fanboy video that's starting to get some very decent run on YouTube. This isn't how it's supposed to be. A winter without hockey is like a beer fridge without any beer. Oh no! It's just so empty and cold because our season was stolen for reasons that are not very clear. What's wrong? Well, the players want to keep their piece of the pie. Uh. The owners all cry, we're poor. <laughs> Yeah, but it's hard to feel sorry for either sob story when I can't even afford tickets anymore. Yeah. So shut the fuck up, bring back our game. All you owners and players do is whine and complain. Hey, if you can't make ends meet on all the money you earn, then you should get out of hockey and give someone else a turn. And shut the fuck up. Oh, why, son, it's with me now. Shut the fuck up. From the die-hard. Stand to 
the sports bar, they're all out of luck. Out of luck! Yes, the business she's down in every hockey town. And mon ami, this lockout, she suck. She suck! But it don't stop there, you bunch of greedy millionaires. Oh no, it's much worse than you think. How bad is it? This year, my friend, don't it has to drive his ass. All right, if you want to be a sponsor of the TV news, just like our friends at CTAM, we'd love to have you on board with us. Now to get started, just shoot us an email at advertise at the TV news TV. And that about does it for this edition of the TV news. We thank you very much for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day. It's been such an honor to work on planning the CTAM Summit with my partner Ed Carroll. The theme is all about today's evolving digital media ecosystem and also a very multi-generational, multi-platform, multicultural world. The media ecosystem is changing rapidly in terms of the different platforms available for consumers and how they digest the content. Everyone will participate, everyone will learn. If we can use the conference to understand the platforms and the content and to build a, a better and cleaner environment, then we can help the consumer navigate through what is increasingly a complex territory. You'll be able to take away nuggets for your work every day. Plus, you'll have a lot of fun by just seeing all of our wonderful colleagues in beautiful, sunny Orlando, Florida.